Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at how to use the HSL adjustment to change the colours of things and particularly to match them exactly with another colour. So let's start off, we'll draw a box and we'll fill it with a random colour. Then we'll draw another box and fill it with another random colour. And then what we want to do, we're going to go to the original box, add a, an HSL to it. So here, and I want to use the HSL on this to exactly match this. The way to do that is to go to View, Studio, and Info Panel. And what we can do is if you look at the color model here, you've got various things you can do and you can set HSL. Normally it's RGB or CMYK, but if you set HSL on both of them, then you can see that this one here, if I drag this up to this, there we go, that is showing that this is 283, 100% and 39. Which is where I've dragged that one here and I take this one here, sample from location, drag that up to there and that shows the current value there. And the reason I'm doing these is the value num values in here will not match exactly, so it's better to use this. This interface, by the way, is in from Affinity Photo 1.7 onwards. And I'm using the beta at the moment, which has got this in anyway. So I'm going to change this. As I change hue here, I want to watch these numbers here. I want to get this 54 up to 283. And do this just by changing this around here. And I go all the way to the left. It's not going to get as far as 283. Let's go to the right. Uh, is that going to get up to 283? No, oh, it's lower down here. Here we go. This is why you need to watch the numbers. There we go. It's going to be in here. When you get close, if you hover over the number here and then just use the mouse wheel and you can just nudge it down to get the right direction, 283. There we go. The colours aren't the same here because the saturation and luminosity are different. The saturation is both 100%, so let's try to change the luminosity here from 73. I want to get that to 39. So I'll move this down here to 39. But notice that this has changed up here, so I need to change that again. So I need to drag this now up again till that gets to 100. So there's a bit of balancing going on. But there we go, that's how to get one colour here to be exactly the same as another colour here with the HSL, which has of course hue saturation and luminosity, but you're using the info panel. Another quick go at doing one in a real thing here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to got the info panel here. I'm going to bring up a box here and I'm going to use that colour there. Yeah, that'll do. That's an orange colour there. So let's see if we can make this red thing here orange. So I select that and go to HSL. I pick one of the presets here. Use the picker and pick a point here and it's yeah that'll do it's where this is here so i put this there so that same point which gives us this range and now let's get the other one and put that up to there and so we now need to match this to this so i need to put them out into hsl there we go so 336, find 30 on that. There we go, there it is, 30 is there. Saturation is 100 there. 22 luminosity, I want to get that up to 50. If I drag this, where is this going to go? And often you won't get all the way. Yeah, see here, it's, it's not going to get there, but it doesn't matter. And I'm going to have to go see this. That's gone to zero there. If I move that up, 
that gets up to 100. Hue has gone to 0, so let's change that again. Let's take that off there. Yep. What can happen with this, with this is if you go to 100 on the luminosity, you lose the colour. So let's do that again. See, it's a little bit of a tweaking. And there you go. That's about as close as we're going to get. If you've got this looking a bit funny here, we can just move, extend the range here. And if it starts to affect other things, go to a paintbrush tool, get a black, and then paint over the areas you want to bring back. Here we go. So over the hand there. I'm doing this quickly, but you can do a bit more care. And there we go. And if it's if I've gone too far there, paint white to fix that. OK, there we go. It's how to use HSL to change one colour into exactly another colour. Thank you very much for watching.